In this screencast, I would like to show you how to use the run interceptor script action to insert your own debug code into a running system. It frequently happens that you want to print out something, some internal state of the application, when a particular method is called, but it's impossible to do so because the source code in question cannot be recompiled or redeployed, and with JProfiler it's possible to do this without recompiling anything at all. Let's profile the Tomcat instance here and look at the JSP examples that are shipped with Tomcat. This number guess example wants us to guess a number between 1 and 100. So let's guess something. Okay, this is wrong. Let's go back to JProfiler and look at the resulting call tree. Here we can see the invoked URL, the handling JSP, and the method that transfers our guess to the number guess bean. So now let's cheat a little. Whenever this method is called, we would like to print the actual answer which is contained in the number guess bean. So we have to add a method trigger. And adding a method trigger is as easy as right-clicking the node in the call tree and choosing add method trigger. There are all sorts of actions that can be added to a method trigger, but here we're interested in the run interceptor script action which allows us to specify a code snippet that will be executed every time the method is called. This is a little similar to the interception script definition of a custom probe, but without the data publishing aspect. So let's configure that script. It gets the number guess bean as the current object argument, as well as our guess as the string argument. I've prepared the script outside here, so I don't have to do too much typing. We'll print our own guess here, as well as the actual answer, which is contained in the number guess bean. Any classes that are in the configured class path of the JProfiler session will get code completion, so it's pretty easy to develop these code snippets in the code editor here. Let's confirm the script and finish the configuration of our method trigger. The new method trigger will be activated right away. There's no need to make any configuration changes like including an API in the class path and restarting the profiled application. Just by using the JProfiler GUI, you can modify and enhance the runtime characteristics of the profiled application with your own code snippets, even if the server was running on a remote machine. Let's apply the new profiling settings and make a new guess. Still wrong, but let's look at the console output. Our guess was 10, and the correct answer seems to be 49. So let's try. And indeed, that's correct. If you wish to modify or remove the method trigger later on, you can go to the session settings and activate the trigger settings section. And here you can delete triggers or modify them in the trigger wizard.